Hello and welcome to another episode of Hooks, Knits, and Dice. I'm Leela Kroka. Don't you just love my hair? I love my hair. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yes, it is. <laughs> I was rocking my glam today, so this is what's left because I've taken off all the jewelry. Um, let's see. Oh, first things first. Mom uh, knitted this fabulous uh, Panabon headband. Look at the patterning. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it to pieces. I'd put it on, but I'd mess up my hair. <laughs> um, let's see. Was it Saturday morning we played with Mom? Yeah. Yeah. Saturday morning we played uh, Ticket to Ride, the Nordic version. And we played a game called Smart Penguin, which is a Norwegian money game based on uh, trading stocks. And it's very much like a better version of Monopoly. It doesn't take as long. It's not as broken. Um, if you can speak Norwegian, I recommend it to you. <laughs> if not, I don't because it's not in, at all in English. So you really would have trouble knowing what you're doing. Unless you play online with us somehow, you know, play across Skype or something, that would be one way to play, but you'd have to get the game, and I'm not sure how it would work, you know, uh, playing a board game across Skype. But we could try if you ever pick up the game and you don't speak Norwegian. Uh, Monday, yesterday, no, not yesterday, day before yesterday, I, I can count, I swear, we finally met the Druids after some x-rated stuff. Jeez, this group, I love them. Uh, <laughs> uh, they get sidetracked really easily. Uh, but we did manage to meet the druids. We got Christmas presents from a guy who looked like Santa. Um, that was a lot of fun, really fancy stuff. We pigged out and had lots of Yule soda and it was just a nice little Christmas party going away thing before the new year. Uh, Let's see, what else is there? Not a heck of a lot. I'm making Tahani's uh, wrist warmers. Uh, slow, slow going because it's a different pattern than the one that I used for her daughter's and Rativa's daughter uh, wrist warmers. A different pattern. So the one that I'm using is by uh, Bonita Patterns. And I can provide a link in the description below. And... I really recommend that website actually, Bonita Patterns. They are really inexpensive, they're fully detailed, there's lots of pictures, and very easy to follow. You know, if you're anywhere from, I would say basic to mid-range skill levels, of course advanced can enjoy them as well, but I haven't really seen any super advanced patterns that a beginner or a middle-range person couldn't follow. So. I really recommend that site. I'll put a link to it, just the site, and you can explore it for yourself, find all the cool patterns that you want to find. Um, I think I told you guys that I'm sewing something special, and I ran out of thread, and then I found out it was a size too small in the back. The front fits just fine, but the back is like four inches. I'm putting two and two because it's on each side of the panel. Too short, too narrow not too short, too narrow. It's long enough. Uh, so Tommy and I figured out, and my mom, thanks mom, if you're watching, I don't know if you watch, probably don't. Um, we figured out if we put two pieces of sheer fabric together, it'll strengthen them both, and then uh, use those for extra panels, and it'll make it look really nice. And I can take a picture and show you guys when I'm done. I don't know when I'm gonna be done, probably sometime during the Christmas break. Which reminds me, there will be no Hooks, Knits, and Dice next week, but the week after there probably will be. I'm on Christmas vacation starting Friday, and I am done on the 3rd of January. So I have all that time off from school. I'm going to use it to enjoy my family. My birthday is Sunday. Hooray! I'll be 42. Woohoo! 42. Looking forward to the big 5-0, you know. Um... See, here's my plan, my goal, my my raison d'etre. Uh, I am going to see if I can hire Voltaire to play my 50th birthday. 
I know, it's a big dream. Um, I don't know if he, he he's willing to do birthdays. I don't know if it'll be way out of my price range if he is. But we're going to invite him to either come here and play for the family, or he can play over Skype in the comfort of his own lair. So that's my goal for my 50th. I'm saving up money for that. You want to help contribute to that? That would be awesome. If not, no big, you know, no pressure. <laughs> Birthday presents, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see, anything else? Uh, finished mom's uh, Christmas present. It looks divine. I can't wait to show you guys pictures of the presents I've been making. And... Gosh, I don't have a heck of a lot to report this time. Um, I'll be playing my lap harp for the school party tomorrow. Or not tomorrow, Friday. I can count. <sighs> I don't know what it is up with me today. I can't recognize Wednesday. That's what it is. Wednesday. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, will be playing Jingle Bells on my lap harp. Uh, probably some of them have never seen one, so it'll be cool to expose them to an instrument that's new to them. And uh, maybe it'll get them to sing along. That could be fun. We're also going to be singing two Christmas songs whose names I cannot recall, but the tunes are very familiar. Uh, maybe I can sing a little bit for Tommy and he can be, oh, it's this song. Um, Tommy. Yeah. It goes... It's something about... Uh, Nisa that doesn't want to share his grut with mice. Oh, yeah. Slow down. Por loven si tiene nissen. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically about a Christmas elf who doesn't want to share his porridge with the mice in the barn. So he's smacking them around with his spoon, right? He tries to chase them off with his spoon. Oh, tries to chase them off with his spoon. And then uh, that doesn't work, so he says, if you don't stop, I'll get the cat. Oh, well, that's serious business. Don't try to eat his porridge, man. <laughs> Let's see, what was the other one? The other one was about a man coming home from different lands, and he comes home from Klappeland, Smileland, uh, what's the stomping one? Trampeland. So all the different lands that he comes from, you clap or you smile or you stomp your feet or whatever. And uh, we'll be singing those two songs during the big Christmas party. It's a school-wide Christmas party, so that'll be awesome. I love seeing all my friends, because some of my friends are in different classes each season. So it's nice to catch up with everybody. And we're going to have a uh, Christmas uh, gift exchange for those of us that want to participate in that. And, of course, there will be mounds of desserts. They said to bring desserts instead of just food, but I imagine there'll be a lot of people that bring food, too, because... Sugar overload. <laughs> and not everybody knows how to make sweets. Because not everybody comes from a country where sweets are really common. I'm taking Yulebre. No, Yulekake. It's uh, basically a raisin bread that's sweet. And it's a sweet dough, sweet bread. It's so nice. It's not too sweet. It's just right. So, um, hmm. Tommy, can you think of anything else? That I can report? Gaming, crocheting, knitting. No. No, can't think of anything else. So, thanks for watching, and have a great day.